Hi Libra, how are you? This is your reading from the 11th to the 17th of April and I hope you're well and thank you very much for all your likes and shares. This is my thumb up to you um, because you're number two this week. So great, great to see you. I'm glad that you're coming out and interacting with me. Thank you so much. And yes, um, there you had 42 likes. You came in at play number two with Aries. So let's get started with your reading. So I'm just going to pop back and um, I just wanted to say hi. And now you will just hear my voice. I'm using the Light Sears and the Raven Tarot. Like I said, you come in with the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands doesn't only mean making plans for the future, but it also means that you could be partnering up in business or in love. It could just be partnering up for the day um, because you might be organizing something, an activity with somebody, and you are coming into action. Wow. So, yeah, perhaps you might be partnering up this week with somebody at work to finish a project that will bring in the money. Um, I feel that this could be a very busy week for you um, as we are also going into a slower energy. There might be something that you want to finish, something to complete, because number 10 means completion and that will bring in the money uh, for something that you're planning to do in the near future. The Ten of Pentacles means that family is important. Perhaps you're trying to organize a family day or a barbecue because it also means reunion and coming together with family or friends or both. Also, this is the marriage card. You might be celebrating something. This could be a promotion. This could be a wage rise. This could be that you've bought a house or that you are going to move home. Um, also brilliant 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 or you could be finding out that you're getting married or engaged celebrations or finding out that you're pregnant there could be expansion in the family or in the home definitely um, there will be a new beginning as a 10 becomes a one now at the beginning of the week you might be feeling a little bit more empathic intuitive a little bit more nurturing or passionate or loving uh, or sensual or sexy because of this new beginning wow you could also be dealing or meeting with a scorpio prominently or um, with a cancer or a pisces as the queen is the second house and the queen is the second status so that's why it represents prominently with scorpio you've also um, you might be feel more loving more passionate because we this is still the passion energy that we are in and the full moon is on the 16th so you could be uh, influenced by the moon's energy either two or three days before and two and three days afterwards so uh, be careful keep your emotions under control like the queen do the business when you need to be uh, business-like and be the mother type or the nurturing type when um, you are spending quality time or nurturing your children or a friendship, a partnership. It's also a warning. Bring in the emotions and new passion into the relationship. Don't forget that. And confirming that you might be moving home is the Six of Swords. Right. You are moving away from rough waters and going to quieter waters. So from difficult times into a good time, confirming that there will be more money and that money and that family is important. Expansion in the family, finding out you're pregnant. This is she is a mother type. The, the mother types are the Empress, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. That plans are coming to fruition. Wow. You could also be going on holiday because the Six of Swords means that you can be moving home, but you can be going on holiday and crossing water. So you might, some of you might be immigrating or thinking of immigrating. We've also got the caravan here or the, the, the VW, the, the caravan thing. 
and the Atlas. So some, some of you might be longing to immigrate to another country. Or you might have met somebody on the web and they're coming over and you're getting married. So this is, could become an international family. Woohoo! And you could also be dealing with a mother figure, it could be a mother-in-law or your own mother, as the Queen of Cups represents mother, like I said. You could be going to visit your mum or an other lady friend, whether you're a man or a woman. So there's the, in midweek, we've got the hanged man, and I feel that you are coming into action and the delays are over. Like we've had COVID, you might not have been able to see your mum. She might be living from you uh, quite a distance, uh, if you still have your mum. Or this could be your mother-in-law or prospective mother-in-law, because we've got the marriage card here. Definitely reuniting and celebrations. Definitely, um, this card also means you might be organizing, like I said, right at the beginning before it's becoming clear now to me or clearer. You might be organizing a barbecue or a party, a celebration of something. And your mum is coming over because that is family and family is important with the Ten of Pentacles because you can come into money. This could even be um, an inher inheritance or a trust or a lottery ticket or a, like I said, a promotion or a wage price. The delays are over. The company is running full force. Like I said at the beginning of the month and in March, we are going into active activity and uh, passion and a fiery energy and that's what we're still in so delays i feel delays are over i the, the when i get the hanged man i usually say this can be to your own doing that you might be taking time out to think about things to get a different perspective because that is what the hanged man represents getting a different perspective on things taking time out doing meditation contemplation thinking things through so that things can come to completion and it is coming to completion you've also got the four of wands again this is indicating joining up being a partner you've got the two ones making plans and here you've got the completion uh, the plans are coming to fruition the three of ones so you are going up and the delays are over and you also know your boundaries and uh, the boundaries of your prospective partner whether it's in romance or in business you are also very creative because you've got number 12 which is the three three four you're going up again going up two three four so it's the the cards are showing that you are going onwards and upwards to the next level whether it is in romance or in career the four of ones is the you could be buying a house again moving home there's definitely a strong force for moving home or upgrading the home or expanding the home or the family this is the celebration card for marriage it's the marriage card but it also represents celebrations of other kinds now you can spread your wings and fly you are absolutely happy 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 you're ready to start this new beginning libra also if you are not getting married you could be invited to a celebration if you're not giving one and you could be meeting people there and be you could be networking making new partners for in business or um uh, meeting the opposition the competition and i think you will win from the competition because you've definitely got recognition all over the place um, this can also be friends new friends that you're meeting and getting to know people you they say from a marriage comes a marriage so you might even be meeting a prospective partner uh, for the future if you are not hooked up or if you're single or a d4c or a widow or a widower definitely and with you again this time it's happened with you before a couple of times that the reading takes on a life of its own 
Now, like I said, you've got three, so you've got two threes here. So watch out for the double numbers, and you've got a three here, so you've got three, three, three. Those are the numbers to look for. Number three, come, three of ones, uh, plans coming uh, to fruition, abundance coming in. You've got the seven of cups, so there could be more than just one dream coming true. Also, if you uh, if if it's not coming true, uh, then make a pro and cons list and see which which wish goal or dream could come true for you seven is lucky number again you've got a lucky number in your reading besides the three 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 also um, you've got the queen of wands and the three of cups again celebrations but the three of cups means that um there could be a crowd a three is a crowd so make sure that you know your boundaries and that you are the apple of your partner's um, eye if you um, if you are looking for a partner okay and I think um, these two are together and that one is left out so you can look at it that you two have come together and you've grown stronger and you know what you want you know the boundaries and the third person well they are out uh, fallen out of the boat it's just you two but there will be celebrations it's not the three of swords but i do use the three of cups as well as three is a crowd remember stand strong come together this is it's also lying next to the three of um ones and also uh, between the two of ones the two of ones means partnering up you've got the marriage card you've got the family card you're moving away from difficult times it's just going to be you two it could be with a leo as the queen of ones represents leo so definitely you've got quite a few people you've got scorpio uh, who else have we got no just two people um so definitely the th this is an indication two people uh, it will be two people you will be partnering up and this um this relationship or partnership will be built on proper foundations because we've got the four of ones and the four of ones represents the four corners of the house and the house is always built on a solid foundation whoa beautiful there is transformation you're, if you're not meeting the Queen of Wands, a Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps, or an Aries, then um, you um, you are taking a page out of her book. She goes for what she wants, and she's determined. She's very strategic. She's creative. She's passionate about something. She will go for it, and she doesn't. It's like a bull um, that uh, is angry. It just doesn't. It just sees the red flag and that is her she will just go for what she wants cost what may now libra i think this is an exciting reading and there's a lot of good luck here and a lot of positive news so def definitely stop procrastinating if you're procrastinating or doubting the situation or question or yourself go for it because you have to take action and don't sit on your laurels daydreaming go for what you want now i've shaken the cards red red you've got the red red roses and i'm hearing some um, i'm hearing that song from mary osmond the red roses so listen to that music um it might give you an other message again you've got a 10 here so you've got two tens you've got that portal one one from the divine and the angels to step through into a new beginning celebrations all over treble three cards that indicate celebrations you can relax now but don't sit on your laurels go for what you want forgive but don't forget learn if there is a if there has been a situation learn from the situation you have gained uh, mental knowledge psychological uh, um, knowledge and you've experienced it uh, 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 practically so use it and part 
pass it on to third parties. I also believe that number three is very important this week. It could be a lucky number, 333 on a lottery ticket or something like that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Libra. Take care and have a beautiful week. And I hope you do celebrate. Take care, especially if you um, have an Aries, they could still have their birthday this week. So perhaps that could be a celebration. Take care, stay safe and be blessed.